Hello everyone and welcome to a really short but very exciting Star Wars Dolda Public video and I wanted to update you guys on some new images we have regarding some of the data mined weapons that I talked about earlier. So we had some very exciting data mine information come out regarding patch 5.8. There's a new hyper crate that's going to be called the ultimate pack and it's going to have the unstable vented lightsaber and also the dark praetorian honor guard weapons from the last jedi and so i was very excited to see what these were going to look like in game and someone who actually has access to the pts server um, decided to be a little bit naughty and leak the images on instagram so a very huge thank you to the person who did that his instagram tag is dark on dark emperor underscore snake so thanks man you leaked these images i was very curious i'm sure a lot of you guys are curious as well so let's go ahead and jump into these images what these weapons look like but i do want to quickly mention that these are kind of low resolution images and they're static right so we don't have a good sense of of what these weapons are gonna what the animation is going to be when we draw the weapon or what the what visual effects are associated with the weapon but nonetheless we do have just the base image of it and that's kind of a lot we can definitely make some judgments based off of that so let's go ahead into the first one here this is my least favorite of the three this is the vibrosword so this is what you know the juggernauts and the marauders and the jedi knights are going to use it's just kind of your basic looking sword but with a very unique design to it this is actually the vibro whip so the vibro whip which I had kind of, uh, I didn't have very many expectations for it. It obviously looked really awesome in the movie. I didn't expect that to translate into the game. And they, they decided to change the name from the Vibro Whip to uh, an uh, Electro Blade. So once again, it's just going to be kind of your generic Vibro Blade type weapon. Nothing about it's going to make it a whip. Um, so I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. I was definitely a little bit disappointed. But then again, you have to manage your expectations. It's not going to look as awesome in the game as it does in the movies. And that's just the reality we have to face. But nonetheless, I think it's a decent looking weapon. There isn't much to say about it. I don't, I don't see myself using it or my characters using it. Like the best COD, for example, is probably a nice survival blade to use. But it is, once again, a very unique design and stays true to, to the design that we saw in the movies. And so uh, there you have it. That's kind of the Vibro Whip slash Vibro Blade. Now my favorite of the weapons that have been data mined is this one. This is the Electro Staff or you could call it a lightsaber pike. You can kind of call it whatever you want but it's going to be what the Sith Assassins and the Jedi Shadows are using. And I absolutely love this design. It totally surpasses all my expectations. It's kind of a hybrid between a lightsaber pike and a double bladed vibra sword. What it is is it, you know it has the pike staff but then it has a, a lightsaber blade at the end but also a serrated blade. And I love the design that's gone into it. This, the serrated blade the kind of a blade under the what do you call it, a lightsaber blade underneath and if that uh, lightsaber part actually changes color with the crystal that would just make it even better i'm not sure how it's going to look when it's sheathed i'm not sure if you when you draw the weapon it extends or anything uh, that's something we're just gonna have to wait and see in game but nonetheless just judging from the base design this looks absolutely awesome it looks like an, a beautiful weapon I'm not even sure if I saw this in the movie. I don't remember seeing this, but it just looks awesome. I think they've done a great job. Let me know what you guys think. This is my favorite of the three. Now, the third one is probably what you guys are waiting for the, the most, the unstable vented lightsaber. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. You have it, the view from kind of multiple angles here. Uh, so the first thing that probably sticks out is the huge ass hilt. Um, that is a huge hilt and I'm a proponent for big hilts. I think if the hilt looks nice and fancy, it should be big enough that people can actually see it. But this is kind of too big in, in some respects if you look at uh, how small the character's hand is in relation to the hilt. But I think what sticks out the most are the vents. And they are very different from the defiant vented lightsaber. Uh, it, the, hilt, the, sorry, the vents actually kind of angle upwards, which is kind of cool. And it gives it a kind of unique touch. The hilt itself looks absolutely different as well. It looks like something very much that uh, kind of a Sith would use or uh, the dark guards would use or something like that. So... Um, I'm definitely digging that and then the blade uh, we, we can't make a strong judgment about the unstable effect it doesn't look too nice in this picture but then again it's a picture and I think to get a real decent judgment on on the blade and the unstable effect we need to actually see it in game and see if there's anything fancy about it it looks like a rather thin blade kind of similar to the unstable arbiter which is not something I'm too keen on I didn't like the the effect on the unstable arbiter's lightsaber where it's a very thin unstable effect I much prefer the unstable peacemaker which is a larger blade and actually has like this lightning effect going on but nonetheless if the unstable effect isn't too great it's nothing that you know a lightning tuning or a volatile weapon tuning can't fix uh, this is 
undoubtedly going to be a platinum rated uh, saber it's probably going to have a huge price tag of like 80 to 90 million credits on the gtn then maybe after a few weeks you'll see the price drop less than that but it's going to be a hugely popular item um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much for the person who leaked this information because i was very curious and now i'm really happy to to have some closure in terms of what these are actually going to look like i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always let me know in the comment section which of these three is your favorite and um just overall what you guys think about the designs and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one